Hey everybody, uh, Tom here and we're going to learn how to set up Space Base today, which is a game that I avoided buying for a long time, I mean it hasn't been that long since it's been out, but the name is so stupid, uh, but that's okay, that's not what we're here to talk about, I know, I probably already shunned away half of you, but come on, that name is silly, but... Uh, it's a cool game, so I'm glad that I finally broke down and got it. Okay, here we go. Let's open this up. Just a quick uh, word about the rules. Um, the rule book, the hmm, things are well explained, but it almost needed like once or two more people to one or <laughs> like me right now. I needed one or two more people to go through and edit it. There was like a whole bunch of really weird, goofy typos, like words that were missing letters and sentences that were not real sentences, but it did explain things relatively well. I only had like a couple questions that I had to look up, but just wanted to give a shout out to, or let you know about that rule book as we open it up. Okay, so when we open up the box, um, we're gonna have a couple of things going on in here. Um, <clears throat> First of all, thank you for the custom insert. Uh, we have a bag. I have a bag of cubes. These are yellow, blue, and green cubes. You're going to need these, one of each... Ooh, my finger. Uh, one of each of these cubes per player as we're playing. I'm going to be setting up a two-player game. Uh, so the game comes prepared for five players. So you can set this up for a blue player, purple, red, green, and yellow, such like that. So, uh, of course, I'm going to be using blue and red, kind of. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the blue deck of cards and the red deck of cards. <clears throat> so we've got those pulled out. I'm just going to put the rest back in there. And just so I can get the cubes back in there, let's go ahead and pull out the cubes um, that we need. So we need two blue all together, two yellow all together, and come on two green all together one for each player and then the rest of those can go back into the bag next thing that we're going to need is the two dice so there are two dice here you could use any dice obviously that you want to but these are semi-custom and then they have uh, this spaceship here, so that's pretty neat and exciting that's the six, on, or no sorry, that's the one on the die, not the six and next up, we have a bag of clear cubes. These are kind of mm, semi-tracker kinds of things. So we're just going to need these somewhere. I don't know where they're going to end up, but I'm going to put them right here for now and hope that they're semi-visible, these clear cubes on a white tablecloth. Okay, we're going to need another deck of cards. So in the box, you're going to have a deck of cards that have these on the back. These are like a standard grouping of cards that can be... Uh, purchase throughout the game. You're going to see on the side here they're numbered 1 through 12. So you don't necessarily need to um, get these shuffled. I'm going to go around the camera. Sorry, pardon my going behind the camera-ness. Uh, but basically somewhere centralized you're going to want to essentially splay these out. So I'm just going to kind of lay these out like this. I might make them a little prettier before I do the gameplay video. Um, well, splaying them out that way is kind of dumb. Which, what is important here is that you'd be able to see that sun number. So we'll take a second and just kind of space these out a little bit. Let's space base these out, guys. <laughs> Let's see here. 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, I don't know how much that's semi on the camera. You get the idea. You just want to get those out and about over there. Um, and probably in order, and the cost, oh, those sun numbers will be in order from least to greatest, and these numbers here will be in order from least to greatest. Next up, we have these very big player boards. Uh, most player boards might be this size, but this is a third of the size. So we're playing a two-player game. I'm going to need two of these, so I'll just pull these out for now. And then finally, down here underneath those player boards, I have kept um, level 1 cards here. Let's just plop those on this side for a second. Level 2, and level, oh, come on. Level, oh, uh, uh, the one thing that I don't love about this insert is it, it has that carnal sin of this grabby part right here doesn't go all the way down, so it's hard to grabby the bottom card. All right, so we've taken out those cards. This is it. I think we have everything out of the box that we're going to need. 
Um, let's go set up the main play area now. And for this main play area, you want to have available cards to buy. So these cards are going to be buyable throughout the game. And then we're going to also set up these different levels. So let me just kind of move the two and the three out of the way for a second. Um, but basically you want to take these tall skinny cards all with the number one on the back. And we're going to go ahead and give them a shuffle. And actually, do you know what? Hold on. It's usually more common, I, I think, I don't know why, I was just thinking one, two, three, to go uh, three, two, one is probably a more common way to do this. So let's go ahead and grab these. Um, ultimately, that might not matter, but <clears throat> that's just the way it is. Now, of course, I'll just say that I always shuffle my decks of cards before I put them away, so I might not do a super fantastic shuffling job in this video, but rest assured, these should be well shuffled. So here we go. Level three cards are shuffled. And what we need to do is we need to flip up the top six cards. And we'll just put them next to each other like this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no. Oh Nelly. Six. Okay. So we've got that there. And we've got level two cards. We're going to do the exact same thing. And. Oh Nelly. Sure. I'm calling that good. Hate me if you want. All right, level two cards. Flip these up. Oh, I'm struggling, guys. I'm struggling. I There's good things and bad things about the shapes of these cards. Uh, I like that they're skinny um, in some ways. Like, actually, shuffling them is a lot less obnoxious than I thought they would be. They shuffle much more smoothly. But as you can see, one little jostle of the of the pile and they like all fall over. So you have to be a little careful with your jostles. That's what, that's, that's what my mother always um, taught me. All right, go ahead and shuffle that. We'll cut it. And one, two, three, four, five. Six. All right, so this is going to be the main, this is like the market, the main area from which we're going to be acquiring cards. Man, those are good words. Good, good words, Tom. With this all set up, let's get over there and uh, set up the player area. Now, as I mentioned before, these boards are very wide, um, and so I can't really have two players, one next to the other one. We're going to have to do this up and downwards. So let's put the blue player up here. Oh, we'll just keep the dice by the cubes. I think that's off screen, but... And we'll have the red player, and actually I'm going to be magically changing their player color soonish, and I'll explain why in a second. Okay, <clears throat> so let's see, how are we doing on camera? Pull this down a little bit, pull this down. All right, so each player has their own deck of cards, and kind of like that other uh, group of cards where we splayed them out in order, same exact thing's gonna happen with these cards. These cards all have a number here in the top corner. These are the sectors that they belong to, and there's a matching number all along the board from one to 12. So uh, for the red player, we're gonna go ahead and take these and just lay them out. They need to be in order to make sure that your sectors are matching each other, just like that. And it's gonna look a little sloppy for a second as I'm working around the tripod, but essentially that's the idea. Go ahead and get those numbers laid out. So that was for the red player. Now, <clears throat> the problem here is that these cards have a blue section and a red section. And for the video, I do not want to get things confused, especially because now that we have grabbed this red deck of cards and put them here, this is no longer the red player. That has nothing to do with anything. But I always want to make sure in my videos that I'm clear about whose turn it is and so you can uh, distinguish the boards. But I don't want to do red and blue because red and blue are such important colors here. Uh, but also green's important, so I have picked out yellow and orange. So, yes, this is not yellow, this is orange. So, I'm going to have the red player magically become the orange player, even though there's no orange deck of cards. But, I think this is going to help us out a bit. I might actually end up grabbing two pieces of paper to really emphasize that, so that as we're going back and forth, oh, you can see the difference. But for now, we're going to just go like that. And then uh, be ready for, in the gameplay video, I might have a second paper to make it seamless and yada yada. Okay. And so similarly, the blue player now is the yellow player. 
I don't remember if there's a yellow deck of cards. I don't, who knows? And exact, oh, exact same thing. Here's a starting player uh, token so that everybody gets the same number of turns. We're gonna put that with blue and, uh, or now yellow, and same exact thing. These cards are actually identical, uh, just with different colors, but the, the stuff is, I'm pretty sure, the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay these out like this. And you could spend hours and hours making sure that those are perfect. And I'll try to only spend like an hour on it. All right, something like that. We have some dice ready. Next, uh, each player has these cubes and you need to put these cubes um, on the zero spaces of the, well, no, yes, kind of. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put this cube. I think this cube actually starts at five. we will have to double check in just a second. And then zero and then zero. Okay, and again, zero, 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 but I know, so the yellow cube represents, I think, energy, and the energy does not start at zero. They do start at five, so we'll go ahead and just kind of, I mean, they kind of start at five. So for the most part, setup is done, but we're gonna need to do one more step to, oh yeah, the, the blue player isn't necessarily the first player. We need to do one more, yellow, we need to do one more step to uh, kind of finish setting up. I could, I was thinking about ending the setup video here, but let's just keep going to determine starting player and we're gonna get um, two cards, one per player here. So before you actually start playing, playing, uh, what needs to happen is each player needs to draw one of these level one cards from the top. So we'll just have this be the blue yellow and this one be the red orange. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and look at them and compare the sector numbers, so 11 and two. Person with the highest number is gonna be our starting player, so it's actually gonna be the orange player. And what we need to do is we kinda of need to put these cards into place. And one reason I almost didn't do this is because it is kind of a good segue into gameplay, but I think we can make this work either way. So here we go, for the 11 card, uh, the orange player is gonna start with this card in their 11 sector, and so it's gonna replace this card. So they're gonna pick up their old 11, flip it upside down and put it under here so that just the red four or the red bar with the yellow four is showing. <laughs> this is a video about colors, just so you know. And then this card is gonna go in its place like that. Now the player has to actually pay the cost for this card that they picked up, so they're gonna lose two energy to start off like that. Same exact thing is gonna happen here for the yellow player. This is gonna go in the two sector. And so this card is gonna get flipped up like this. And then this is gonna go in its place. And they need to pay one, two, three cards, or three energy for that one, just cause that is uh, the cost of that card right here. All right, one final thing is, you're going to adjust your starting resources based on player order. So the starting player doesn't get any, and of course you would go around the table traditionally. The second player is gonna get one sun point. So uh, they started at five, went down to two, and then up to three. And then if there was a third player, they would get two suns. If there was a fourth player, they would move uh, this green marker up one space. And if there was a fifth player, they would also uh, move their green marker up one space. So there you have it. We are more or less ready to begin playing Space Base. So if you are interested in seeing how this game is played, go ahead and click on the link in the description of this video. I will have it there and ready. One of these days I'm gonna figure out how Rado does that like eye in the corner. I have not figured that out yet and I haven't put a ton of time into figuring. I'm sure it's not that tough, but I really probably should start doing that. Maybe one of these days. Anyway, enough of that. Go ahead and watch the gameplay video. Hopefully this was semi-helpful for you. And uh, I will now address this as the yellow player and the orange player. And we will all get along. Um, okay, bye.